I'll be doing a multi photo card binder update. There are hundreds of cards to put away for the end of this year. The first binder will be non album concept photo cards of Irene of Red Velvet. Because there's like over 200, maybe almost 300 cards to put away. I'm gonna be, I might be a little quicker than usual. And let's start. So I don't know if I'll talk about every card. Oops, does it go here? Yeah, I don't know if I'll talk about every card, but um, if you want to know more information about the card, then you could check out my previous photo card haul video. But there's gonna be some cards that were not in a haul. So um, if there's any card that I want to like pay a little more attention to, then I will do that. Like if it just came in the mail or something and wasn't previously introduced in a video, um, you could always leave a comment if there's a card you want to know more about. And if I didn't really go too much in detail about them. But I've been um, holding off on these for a while, holding off on storing it for a while, and it definitely needs to be put away in a binder soon before it collects dust. This is the last of the Red Mare set. It's also like super early in the morning on a Monday, so. I just wanted to get all of this done before the holidays. If I'm kind of quiet this time, maybe I should try to put some kind of background music. But um, another reason I don't do it is one, it's like background music might not be everyone's thing, like a certain song. And two, I don't want to get copyrighted. Uh, that completes this duo denim outfit for trolls. I think these go well together even though they're from, I think they're from different lines of merch. This is the photo card holder. And there's a sleeve but I feel like that's not needed. So I'm just gonna put it within the pocket. It kind of pops out, kind of like the Season's Greetings card. Yeah, this one. So, um, I think it'll work. It'll be fine. Next page. This is like the endorsements. I mean, I guess the endorsements kind of started over here. So, first endorsement photo card is her Lemona ad from way back when. This last one is um, another endorsement card for some contact lens company. Okay, so that was the last of the non photo card binder update for my Irene collection. Um, there's some new inclusions, but um, yeah. Probably noticed it if I flipped through it earlier. New cover page from an old season's greetings because so pretty. And it matches this binder. Now the next binder update is um, the Irene binder of album concept photo cards. So in case I don't go through this again, I added another cover page. This was from the DIY cubic painting, but because I don't really use posters, I decided to trim it and then make it a page in the binder. These are all the same from the last time. Okay, so here's the first page. This is a Trolls photo card, but it's the Russian Roulette concept. So it makes sense to put it here, in my opinion. 
So it's next to the other Russian Roulette Trolls photo card. Next is a peekaboo card. This is from some kind of merch. I said I was gonna just like try to skip through cards because there's so many to go through, but I guess some of the cards made the exception. So my goal is to make this video under an hour because I'm not a fan of listening to a video for more than an hour. Like if it's just a photo card binder update. So yeah, merch card from RBB era. Trading card. Um, this one's like a magazine photo card. Next we have monster stickers. Okay, next is um, this magazine photo card during Red Velvet's Milky Way cover, or I guess photo shoot. One of these is the DIY Cubic painting photo card and the other one is an S SM Global Shop photo card. I think this one might be the SM Global Shop photo card because it has a pink um, backing. So, yeah, two Queendom concept photo cards there now. This one, possibly unofficial, but expands on that Feel My Rhythm concept. And now we're finally gonna go to birthday photo cards. And this was not in a haul. This I actually had to get from a third party seller. Um, I didn't actually buy these. I didn't pre-order these myself. So, um, one of these is Soundwave and the other one's Apple Music. Very similar poses. Put it over there. I think this sleeve needs to be replaced because it's not mine. And this one has like a little bit more space compared to some of the sleeves that sellers do give. So I kind of like the little extra room so it could stay a bit more snug in the slot. Sometimes it does get loose, so the best method is to double sleeve it, but I do feel like when the cards are double sleeved, they're not as clear to look at. So I kind of just do that for the rare cards. These are all pre-order benefit photo cards of um, Irene during the birthday era. So key time for you. Oh wait, this needs to sleeve too. Surprise I didn't pre-sleeve this one. Maybe I'll leave it over here. This is the SM Town in store photo card. Kind of bummed out of nine copies. They gave me like a duplicate of every member except Irene, but I feel like that was strategic because um yeah. Pretty sure they're aware of the differences in prices of photo cards. That was Music Plant. Um, what was this one? The S Mini, I think. Cake version, Irene. This was my pool. This one I got the other day. This is the Digipack version. I'm still waiting on my own copies of the Digipack, but it's taking a while because it has some pre-order benefits, so. That's going to be for another video in the future. And if I pull a dupe of Irene, of this one, then I'll probably just replace it because of course I want to keep the card that I pulled myself, even though it's the same one. But just knowing um, where it came from, like you pulled it yourself, that's kind of, kind of more dear. And these are all just the duplicates that I pulled the other day from my photo book versions. So it's going to fill up the whole page pretty much. And this last one is a unit, a monster unit sticker. 
I think there is more. There was more monster stickers somewhere here, but I don't have it next to me right now. And while we're here, I'll show any other updates I did. I guess I just kind of changed the inclusion. So I cut a poster, the large size poster, and made the focus of Irene for this binder. Added the Feel My Rhythm poster, the album inclusion poster over here. I think this is new. These might be the same. Oh, and over here are new birthday Polaroids, the unit of Irene, Silky, and Yeti, the single Irene Polaroid I pulled, and I just put my extra Silky here because you'll see later that I change up my binder. And that's about it for this binder. This next update will be for my New Jeans and La Seraphim binder. The initial update didn't have many photo cards, but because of the season's greetings of New Jeans, it came with a 54-piece photo card set, so there's going to be a lot of sleeving for this time. I still haven't figured out what to do with this, so it's kind of just hanging there. I don't want to cut it. Uh, I guess while we're here, I'll just talk about it. Um, this is from the official merch of the mini posters. So here's a group photo. This is a Weverse pre-order benefit postcard. So I decided to add that into the cover page. The next new inclusion is the season's greetings mini poster of the group. So that's kind of like a second cover page. Then I added this season's greetings poster of Minji, but I haven't decided if I want to change out the other members cover pages as well. That's pretty much the only update in terms of inclusions. So yeah, let's start. This one is a broadcast photo card of Minji from the first or second week of promotions. So now it's gonna be next to the other broadcast card. I was thinking of putting this over here instead so that it could be next to the Chargers jersey poster. But then I kind of like lined these up. So uh, I'll have to think about it. Maybe I should change it. I think it'll look better. So this is actually my favorite Minji photo card, but there's gonna be a lot more to add later. Um, yeah. I guess I'll move this because I'm trying to group like photo cards together as much as possible, meaning uh, blue book, photo book, blue book, photo cards together, then the bag, then in the next page are the Weaver's album photo cards. A, B, C set, it may be mixed up. I think this was the bag photo card. So as much as possible having outfits together, like similar outfits, but also keeping it grouped from the album type it came from. Okay, we'll probably come back here for the Season's Greetings photo cards. Um, this may be new. So this is from the official mini poster set. This is from the actual album. I cut that out. And that's Hedden's cover page to match this photo card, which is a broadcast photo card. I decided to just get this one because I like her hair and the selfie pose better. The other broadcast photo card was with this outfit and she's kind of like showing her nails but um that's like not on high priority list for I guess my wish list. Yeah if I do collect decide to collect it then I guess it would probably go here to line up with this and maybe I'd, I'd move this one over here but um I put these cards together because it's the same outfit. Actually, all three of these are the same outfit, except this has a coat. The same t-shirt as this cover page over here. I'm thinking I'm putting it in the middle because these are the same shirts anyways. Just for a little bit more protection, being in the center. Okay, maybe I'll do that. 
Then the last one is an unofficial card to kind of fill up the slot. So these, I think these are, yeah, Weverse album photo cards while uh, vertically these are unofficial photo cards, but it's kind of like a space filler. So we'll probably have to take these out. The 54 piece photo card set from their season's greetings. Okay, so I didn't get a chance to sleeve it, so we're gonna have to sleeve it on camera. So I think uh, what I'll do is separate by member first. Yep, okay. For the suit of cards, I'm just gonna put it randomly and then later decide what kind of pattern I wanna do. Just for the sake of time. So I guess I'll start on this page. So this is a total, totally random order. I'm probably gonna change it up later. But um, kinda don't have time right now. I really like the back of these cards. And if you want like an in-depth look of each of these photo cards, you could check out my unboxing season's greetings video. Okay, that's Minji's. Now we're gonna put away hidden stuff. I probably will need more than, oh, I don't have the sleeves with me right now. They're like in another. The extra sleeves are in another room. I think what I'm gonna do, knowing that it's 10 cards each, just for now, I'll just put it in the back and then grab a new page later. So there's one over there. Also, these cards are much better quality than the first EP photo card, so there's a semi-gloss. I'm very glad that their company you know, gave them good quality merch. And it's crazy, their new single came out, Ditto, and they released two different versions. Every time I do these videos, it's like the beginning of the day and I don't get a chance to watch the video because I like to kind of watch it while I work out because K-pop is so catchy, you might as well, you know, multitask while you listen to music, work out. The next one is Hani. So yeah, uh, I probably will watch their new music videos after this. Um, I don't think we're even halfway, so I'm gonna probably have to like make a time lapse of this or just stop talking. <laughs> it's funny, I made this channel initially to make it like a minimal commentary, but I felt like to make it a little more personable, I should like have a little bit commentary, but not stray too much from what's in front of me. That's kind of my style, I guess or my preference. I am trying to finish this in under an hour because I have stuff to do after this. So I only have like an hour to put these away. Um, I think these are the same. Oh, wait, this might be new. So this one is a mini poster of Danielle. Okay, let's put away her cards now. So 
I guess the next update, which will probably be in 2023, I will have an extra nine pocket page for that tenth card, so it's not just back there. Maybe by then their um, next EP will be out and more inclusions to put in, or photo cards to put away. And I saw that there's like new jeans merch that is coming out. There's like some Christmas themed ornaments. That's super cute. And I saw that I believe it's like a collaboration with a dessert branch, a dessert shop. So it was like bunny cakes. But I also noticed in their MBTI series they were like holding these bunny stuffed animals so i'm wondering if that's gonna be official merch or if that was simply a prop i feel like a lot of their variety shows on youtube there's a lot of i won't say pro i guess product placement of their own merchandise that eventually goes on sale similar to like that ad i had in the front of the page so like one of their first videos, the first or second video, it was kind of hanging in the back. So clever product placement from New Jeans Company. Okay, so the last one will be Hagen. Um, hopefully I can find space for the group photo cards. I may take these QR codes out and just put the group photo cards there maybe, but there's four of them. Hmm, I wonder where I should put it. Maybe I'll put it in the back of these while we're here. Because I'll have to go all the way to the other room to get the nine pocket page, but I'm trying to like put everything away. Oh shoot, did I show these? I think I had that waivers cover page, but I'm gonna have to move that for space. No, I hide this boy. Yeah, this is gonna be a temporary spot. So they're all back here just for now. Then now we're gonna sleep Hayen's cards. I have to open up another box. I noticed in a lot of photo cards or photo shoots, Hayen's always like looking to the side, like with a serious face. Okay, so I put away Hayen's season's greeting stuff. Now we're gonna go to La Seraphim. I did like a complete overhaul. The order probably doesn't make sense because I got these spreads from a Japanese magazine. And because it's double-sided, I'm limited to where I put things. So this is a spread that has former member Garam. But um, I really like the photo shoot. So I used some of these as a cover page. So that's why Unche comes first, even though I don't really have a collection of her, Unche and Yeonjin. So at the other side of this is Yeonjin. But because it's double-sided, it kind of doesn't make sense. So it's either like a cover page or like an ending page. So here's my Sakura collection. I'm just going to place this double-sided fearless card. This is from like that mini version, mini bouquet version. And next is my Kazaha collection. So as you can see, it's uh, gonna be in, like an ending cover page. So it's a little confusing. So I'm just kind of playing with it. See if I like it. Sakura Kazaha unit card over here. And Kazaha Chewan. Here's Kazaha. I don't have a Chewan cover page because I don't have her photo cards. So the last page of this binder is former member Garam. It's probably gonna stay at this number 
for a long time. Yeah. Okay. So that's the New Jeans La Seraphim update. The next binders will be the Espa binders. So here's my new Karina binder. Because I had so many photo cards of Karina, it doesn't fit with all the members along with the inclusion. So that's why this Karina binder is separate. And once I get stickers of some sort, I'm gonna decorate it to make it more related to Karina. So um, I still haven't figured out what to do with this BB page, a sticker page. And I don't want to cut it up yet, so it's kind of like with my Minji binder. I'm just kind of letting it be there. <laughs> okay. I'm like waiting for SMCU Palace merch. I want to see Espa Red Velvet Unit photo cards. That would be so cool if they do have that. I, It's not like confirmed or not. I also saw there's an upload this morning. So at the time of this recording, I started around like five-ish or six. Um, around that time, SM updated a behind the scenes video of the beautiful Christmas, uh, the making of beautiful Christmas collaboration with Espa and, um, and Red Velvet. So that's another thing to watch on the list when I get a chance. Oh, I guess it goes here. That sweater, that long sleeve sweater, Karina. And I kind of breeze through these now. Easy you. I think it, no, KMS photo card. I think I'm expecting more to come in, so. This binder is constantly being added to. Espa has so many photo cards. So fans land. I forgot what that was. B2S. So for this section, I have to. Ooh, I have to breeze through it. These are all like girls' merchandise photo cards. There's so many trading cards and photo cards and new hologram photo cards as well, stickers. So uh, the order might change because some of these are lives too short, like these two. So this technically should be before the girls album, but because I'm pressed for time, kind of just quickly doing all of this focus on that and the last few cards are endorsement photo cards this one's an old card from a collab with a, an MMO called eternal return I would like to get the winter version but um, I haven't seen a good deal online and there's like a couple more Everland photo cards but that's also like, I'm not in a rush. Another Everland card. And we have space here, so that's the Karina update. The only new inclusion. Oh, so I mentioned this in the last video, or I guess in the first Espa video, but basically this is a replica. This was a freebie. I decided to put it back here because um, I didn't want it to be mistaken for the official card, so yeah. I do like fan-made photo cards or unofficial cards, but um, I just, I think replicas shouldn't be there. Replicas that I know about, like if I bought a replica and it's in my collection, you know, that's my bad. <laughs> Too bad, so sad for me. Okay, so these are the new inclusions. This is what, from one of the photo card packs, so this photo with a photo card, one of many. So yeah, there's like three different versions. So it was a lot of Espa merch in the last haul. That's the Karina binder. Now this is the rest of the Espa members binder. 
the first update will be winter. So this also got simplified. I still kept this inclusion in here because it's kind of like a set. I don't have the Giselle postcard. As you can see, that's a duplicate, but I kind of covered it. So now it starts with the winter cover page. And I'm gonna put away winter's photo cards. Black Mamba epoxy photo card there. Um, Savage merch photo card. I really wanted this card, so I got it. But there's so much more Savage merchandise photo cards that are like not on the priority list. So I'm just kind of choosing more of my favorite photo cards. Even for the Karina collection, because there's a lot of photo cards out there. And there's still like their anniversary photo cards that I'm waiting on. Probably will be not till 2023. Maybe that will be mixed along with the Seasons Greetings photo cards. So I put, oh wait, is this right? I think I meant to put up here. So this is also a sticker, but it's the same outfit as this one. I believe this is an acrylic stand photo card. Then one of many selfie photo cards. I think, you know, there's no spaces here. I guess the rest are of this page is just for girls merchandise and then into non-album photo cards. Kind of rushing along because the sun just rose and I need to hurry up. <laughs> Magic mirror photo card. I get this confused with the SMCU photo cards. So I still need, I think, two of her selfie photo cards from 2021 Winter SM Town. Then the rest seems to be merch cards. So. Here's Meta Heal stuff. Meta Heal into Cleo into probably an Everland photo card. Last Cleo photo card. Oh no, I already put away the Everland one. Okay, now we go into the other members. Um, new inclusions, probably just these two, these three. Now we're going to Ning Ning section to include a new sticker, two new stickers from the girls pack. Now into the Giselle section. For these stickers, set of stickers, her weapon trading card, and some group cards over here. Okay, so that's the ESPA update. This new binder is for my other biases that I don't collect as actively as my main collections. So I wanted to make use of this really cute Pokemon binder of Sylveon. But because it's a four ring binder, I don't have the sleeves for inclusion. So this is strictly a trading card binder for now, or a photo card binder for now. Most of these photo cards of Twice are going to be from their mini G Icon Di Festa edition. So the sleeves it came with is kind of interesting because it has like kind of like a lid to cover the top portion of it. Pretty clever idea. But the refills that I got were not these types. 
so it'll be easier to just fill it up with an open pocket. I wanted to try these out. I think it may be 10 each. I'm gonna try to be a bit quick. Yeah, so these are the refill pages I got myself. So they'll be kind of easier to load these photo cards into because there's so many of them. We got a 100 photo card set from the D-Icon mini edition. So there's no specific order to this as of today. I kind of just put it there randomly. Now we're gonna put away Momo stuff. Oh, this is the one with the lid. It's a good idea to protect the top part of your cards. So my Momo and Sana collection used to be alongside the same binder as Mina and Sui, but uh, obviously it got full, so that's why I moved them over here. Alright, so the next one is Silgi. Hmm. I guess Silgi Monster first, it the order is totally off. Monster stickers. Now I'm gonna put this, that fortune card over there, and some birthday photo cards. There's gonna be some duplicates. I literally just pulled these. So maybe I'll try to put the pre order cards first. The pre-order benefit cards. This one's my favorite outfit. I always mention that. It's just so cute in the birthday video. I like this card too. It's a Make Star pre-order benefit card. It's holographic. I have some like extra pulls there. I wonder if I should just like set it aside so it doesn't clog up the binder too much. Okay, that's Silky, and we're gonna put a single Liz card over here. I do have more on the way, so I'm gonna kind of like casually collect Liz because she's so talented and so adorable. She's my bias of vibe. Okay, so I think that's it for this binder. There's no TXT updates this time. The next one will be Angina. Sui photo card collection. And I feel like this binder is fitting. Even though um, Sana and Momo are not here anymore, they're still the designated animals for Mina and Sui, so the deer and the penguin. And their colors, their member colors are um, mint and blue. So um, I had to do a lot of cleaning of the inclusions. So here's the new cover page and the once day inclusions. Now it's just strictly mean and sweet. As much as I wanted to put everyone in here, but the binder just wasn't big enough. And I put the sign bookmark over here. So this is actually a signature from Mina. This was from the JYP shop. This one is just a signature from the merch, so not not a real signature, just a copy. And on the other side, you'll see oh, you'll see the bookmark. I should have got Sui's too. I wish I had got hers too. Okay, and yes, I am Mina postcards because they're so pretty. And now I just put these away. I don't think it's much besides the the given inclusions, the defesta cards, so not much to talk about there. First one will be a BDZ photo card, a Japanese comeback. 
photo card in Europe, yes. And a fancy pre-order card. Fancy pre-order card and a feel special pre-order card. Glad to have that three set, three pre-order card set. More and more. Hmm, I guess it goes here. Oh no, I don't think it goes there. Oh no, a sticker got in here. I think I meant to keep this open, this open for more twice three inclusions if I get a chance. Now, kura kura. I guess it goes there. Hopefully. I think that was before alcohol free. Okay, I think this is where I start. So this is from the mini edition. What I thought these were like duplicates, but actually these are different poses, so it looks similar, but it's like one second apart. So Dahyun's arm is like up over here, not over here. This one is a similar selfie, but one is just like closer to the other. So <laughs> at least there's some kind of variation. But if you're a person that collects twice cards 100%, I would imagine it's really hectic constantly keeping up with them because they release like... 50 photo cards per collaboration or merch or whatever. It's really crazy. Oh no. These cards are a little more th on the thicker side, thicker side. That's kind of a tight fit over there. I'm gonna breeze through these. Like I said, if you want a closer look, you can check out the original unboxing video. In the future, I definitely will try to organize these a bit better. So more like cards will be next to each other. Hmm. Oh, is that it? I have no idea why there's like an extra space over here. Okay, so next is Twice Lights. I guess I'll just put it there. And Lemona. Uh, put you here. This one is a freebie card. I don't know why it's there. I'll take it out another time. Now here's Sui's cover page. This is I am Sui postcards. I just chose my favorite photos and kind of just stored away the other ones. Okay, it looks like it's just the icon photo cards this time for Sui. So pretty easy storing. So these two cards came with the Sui version while the rest of the photo cards are part of the standard 100 photo card set for any member version that you get. I think those should have been in the end. Oh, do I not have enough? I better have enough. Oh, I see where. So I did have an extra photo card somewhere. Kura kura. When did Kura Kura come out? Oh, I guess I didn't leave a slot for Kura Kura. So I'll just put you over here, maybe. Yeah, so that's my new Mina Sui binder. Even this is getting full, so I may have to separate them again. Hopefully this is the last binder, unless I have to go back to the other ones. Um, this is like my misc collection of everyone else, <laughs> mainly I guess Twice and Red Velvet, minus Silky and minus the Twice members I mainly collect. I did a lot of cleanup with the cover pages, so um, I just put 
that's the standard inclusions. So this is my new cover page for now. Um, I think I'm gonna go through maybe I should do twice first. A lot of this got simplified because this binder is actually getting really full too. And this is like one of those giant three ring binders. A lot of my Momo and Sana inclusions were placed here. We have a group photo card. I guess I'll have to go here. This is from the mini D Festa. Okay, so we're gonna start with. Huh, why is that there? Okay, first member is Nyan. Per member. Oh, okay, good. That was the Nyan update. Now we're going to Dayan. Pre sleeved all a hundred cards the day I unboxed it. So, to make my life easier today. <laughs> Can I go there? Next is Chaeyoung. Huh. The only Jungyoung set is not here because she didn't participate in this photo shoot. Probably due to her hiatus at the time. Looks like two more cards. Put it in the back over here. And there's a unit card. And because I think I have more space in the nylon section, I'm going to put it there. I had like two slots over here. So Cheyong and... Young and Nyan. I think the last one. Yeah, the last one will be Ji Hyo. Okay, that's the last of the twice update. Now we're gonna go into Red Velvet. So I kind of changed the cover page over here because um, Solgi's photo cards are not here anymore, but I had to leave a lot of her inclusions, so I did some reordering. So here's the 28 Reasons poster with uh, La Rouge film set. So we have a couple group cards to put away, about four of them. I don't think I have room, so I might have to take out some freebies. These are all freebie stuff. So it looks like this page is going to be full of official group photo cards. Hmm. Maybe I, I should do like album concept photo cards first. And then add these season, season's greetings. Photo cards. I guess these should go first. So 17, 2017 unit card. I think I have to put it upside this way. And uh, 2018 over here. Okay. Hmm. 
these inclusions are pretty much the same. Maybe some reordering has been done since the last time. Um, yeah, I added this over here, so it's better to have it horizontal. Then over here, um, this was initially for like silky section, but her cards aren't here anymore. So here are some of her inclusions, including the new birthday Polaroids and the other member, the unit and single member Polaroids over there. Now I could start placing these new birthday cards into the nine pocket pages. Pretty sure this was a pre-order photo card with that really pretty pink dress that she was wearing, that mini dress. This one's a make star photo card. I really like the holographic effect. Now the rest of these are just going to be album photo cards. So duplicate. There's the joy section. I feel like since I have it here anyways, I should just put it, put that duplicate there. Okay, now on to Wendy section. Probably need to sleep. This is definitely from the SM Town and Store. This looks very similar to the photo card version. So there is a couple photo cards of Wendy with this outfit. Wendy or like the other members. A lot of repeat outfit photo cards. But um, it's really nice that they had more pre-order benefit photo cards this time. So there's more to collect. Not just like only the album versions. But collectively as a group, I think I like the Make Star photo cards the best. I guess just because of that hologram effect. And I think the rest of these are like from the album. This is from the cake version and photo book version. Lastly, Yeti section. Oh, there's a gap there. Last minute organization. I used to have her other Feel My Rhythm card, but I traded it. I think for a collection, a red velvet collection, mainly consisting of pulls, it's not bad. Pretty good um, variety of photo cards. Well, of course, um, I do hunt for Irene's photo cards and some of Silky's, but the other three members, these are pretty much all pulls. So I'm pretty pleased with how this collection has come about with just being pulls. Okay, back to the page. These are just misconclusions of all the members. Some more silky stuff. Obviously I collect her a bit more. So quite a bit of inclusions of Silky. And these, this is just like the freebie card slash duplicate page. So that's why I just left it in here instead of putting it in this binder with my other biases. Yeah, another freebie page here. Inclusions. I didn't have room, so Silky had to be in between the I've members there. Oh, that got messed up. And that was my multi-photocard binder update.